I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching the Venom vlog. Oh, man. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Venom Vlog. This is episode 351 and I'm sorry I'm just not feeling that well this week and I wanted to get another episode out to you guys and you know there's some other ones that I was like all right I'll, I'll film it you know tomorrow after work and then then tomorrow became the next day and the next day and it's just been really busy for me this week so I figured while I'm in bed laying here at the end of the night it's midnight I saw this news break earlier and a lot of people were talking about it and a couple people asked what my opinion was so I figured we'll go ahead and uh, head over to the deadline here and we'll check out this news from from them saying that Marvel's Spider-Man, uh, which is a Disney XD show, uh, gets a third season that will start in spring of 2020. And kind of what um, alerted me originally of this was Donny Cates on Twitter, and he actually tweeted that he's going to be, um, you know, he helped out with some of the the plot of this third season coming up, which as you can see here is called Spider-Man Maximum Venom. So this was officially announced today. They will be bringing the show back in September to finish out season two. So that's one of the things I learned by reading this article here from Deadline. And of course, I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out yourself. Uh, but we're going to go over it, you know, because, you know, I don't have a lot of other news to cover right now. And then other videos I need to make, I need more time with. So, you know, you know, hopefully you guys uh, dig this, this little like news update here. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it because I haven't watched this show. I see a lot of people really negative about this show. And I, I have no idea. Like, I think I've maybe seen a clip or two. And although I wasn't too impressed, I do see a lot of, like, straight-up vitriol towards this show. So I'm kind of curious. If you're out there and you've watched, you know, this Spider-Man show, I want to know what you hate so much about it. Uh, because it seems like a lot of people are very passionate about not liking the show. And some people even upset that it's getting a third season. Uh, for me, it's more Venom content. And so I'm intrigued by that because it gives me more stuff to talk about with the character on the show and we will talk about Venom's previous appearances on this show because I think he showed up in the first or first half of the second season something like that where uh, the costume and Peter Parker interacted with each other and then I think again in Guardians of the Galaxy uh, that cartoon I think uh, the, the suit showed up in that one I think where Thanos like went to Peter Parker's high school Horizon High or something like that I don't know uh, I saw clips of it so I'd never seen a full episode so again uh, you know we'll talk about those before this season starts but this season won't start until uh, early next year it says here spring 2020 is when it'll premiere so uh until then the show will come back in the fall uh, in September with a five-part story called Superior Spider-Man. So I guess this show, mainly what it does is it kind of translates a lot of the comic book stuff that have happened over the past 10 years and try to tell different versions of those stories like Superior Spider-Man and now Maximum Venom, which is going to be, I think, a take on Null. Because I imagine if Donny Cates is involved and they went to him to come up with story ideas, of course he's probably going to want his character created, or the character he created, uh, he's going to want that character on the show because that means resistance. Individuals. That means, you know, like uh, payments for him for being the creator of Null. So I have a no doubt in my mind that, you know, we're probably going to see Null in the season because they said this is something big that's going to happen. So it's, uh, you know, Peter's, Peter Parker's alter ego is pushed to his breaking point when the always volatile uh, Venom summons a global threat from its alien home world. So again, like I said, they're probably going to do some kind of version of Null. If it's a big threat coming from his world, probably be a little bit of Planet of the Symbiotes in there with it, and it'll be a big invasion, and you will probably get, you know, Venomized versions of all the Marvel heroes or any of the, or the Guardians of the Galaxy. Whatever heroes have popped up in this, you know, animated world, we're probably going to get Venomized versions of them. So yeah, that's, you know, all the real news here. I mean, like I said, Season 2 will come back. It'll wrap up uh, in September with a five-part story superior spider-man and that's going to be where you know obviously like the comic dr octopus has seized control of spider-man's body and intends to use his newfound powers towards dark purposes um it is a monday night show 6 30 p.m half hour time slot and it was ranked number one series uh, uh number one series on cable at that time for kids between 6 and 11 and boys 6 and 11 <laughs> uh so uh i guess they're like you know really pushing that so Apparently kids love this show, or at least kids are watching the show. And, uh, you know, like I said, 
you know, as we get older as fans, and I know some of you guys in your 20s and in late teens and stuff that watch my shows, you get very passionate about like which version of, ba- uh, you know, Batman you like and Spider-Man you like and, you know, different heroes and Avengers you like, and you get really passionate about it. And whenever a new version comes along, you, you know, sometimes just instantly hate it. And I want to know if some of that's going on or if it, or if you legit gave the show a, sh- a chance and just didn't like what it was doing. Because I remember, uh, like I grew up with Batman, the animated series, but even before that, I grew up with Transformers. And I remember when Beast Wars came out in the early 90s, I think, and a lot of old school fans hated it, but I gave it a shot and I ended up really liking Beast Wars a lot when it came out. And then same with Batman the Animated Series. I was in high school when that was on uh, or, you know, early, I was like middle school and then into high school uh, when Justice League started. And then when the Batman started in the early 2000s, I know a lot of people who grew up with the Batman Animated Series hated that show, but I also too like the Batman. So, you know, I don't know. I never you know had that mentality uh so passionately as a lot of people seem to nowadays where they just hate a new version i may not like a new version of things but i don't i try not to like get full-on hatred with it uh but uh but i see so many people hate on this show so i'm I'm curious you know what what do you guys think of this i i just reading the cast here i just saw Patton oswald as uncle ben on the show I'm like holy cow <laughs> um and uh nancy lenari is aunt may and Max Modell's in the show. So, yeah, it looks like they're definitely taking a big page from, uh, you know, a lot of the current stuff. Or not even current. Like, I guess the Dan Slot stuff, uh, which is, you know, from a couple years ago uh, now. So, uh, yeah, I want to hear what you guys think. Are you excited for this show? Obviously, I will cover every episode of Maximum Venom. I will cover all of them on the show here. Uh, I definitely don't mind doing that. Uh, you know, whether it's good or bad, you know, I, I think it'll be fun topics. And it'll give me more content, more episodes to do. Uh, and it'll also help us fill the time uh into as you know until we get more uh sequel news because around this time of spring next year we'll probably start getting into you know the the venom 2 movie with carnage because i think it's supposed to come out next october so this will be nice during the springtime while we're waiting for trailers and official images to come out and while we're you know in between those we can review this show so i will definitely do that no problem uh you know and we'll do more cartoons because i know there's other venom cartoon stuff that we haven't talked about yet i promise i will do more of those for you guys very very soon as well. So again, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what they are down below. I appreciate you guys watching this video and I will have more Venom content for you very soon. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.